Hey y'all, cooking and cutting up, keeping it real. Mama Lisa is in the kitchen. I am getting the refrigerator cleaned out and realized that I have some avocados that needed some attention. They need to be used. So I'm gonna make a little bit of guacamole. I'm doing a charcuterie board for a cookout tonight for some friends of ours, dear friends, Mike and Linda Hunt, and it's their both of their boys' birthdays. So I'm gonna make some of this, and if I don't eat it all, I'm gonna take it with me to the cookout. I have two avocados already in the little dicer mincer thingy that I have used. I've been out to the garden and gotten some um, basil, some oregano. I don't have any cilantro and I'm not going to the grocery store to get it today. I've got everything else I need for the charcuterie. Um, and I'll show y'all that as I put it together. I'm trying to get this little bit of seed out of here. That little film that surrounds the seeds in this avocado. And it'll be cute in a little cup um, alongside of some chips on the charcuterie. So I'm gonna put a little bit of, I put a whole lemon, excuse me, lime, and three avocados in this little mincer dicer thingy. And I'm gonna put some onion in there as well. And this is not for you, Sister Sledge. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. I'm just gonna put a little onion in here as well. I love doing recipes like this and using what you got. So one lime, the juice of one lime, three avocados, and some onion. <laughs> chunks that don't want to mix up good. I'm going to lay them to the side and put them back in here in a minute and let them process. I may cut up, dice a few Roma um, tomatoes and put in this as well. Let me grab a spatula. I've got some chunky pieces and I've got some creamy pieces, which is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. I need to add some salt. And I can add more later. But this is gonna be pretty in my um, pottery dish. This green avocado guacamole mixture. People make guacamole lots of different ways too. And you know, everybody has their own little spin on it. I'm gonna put my onions back in here. I'm gonna have to put some liquid in there. I'm gonna put just a splash of um, white vinegar. Okay, this is not, oh, I gotta have my, Lord Jesus help me, Lord. I gotta have my knife in there, my cutter thingy. I thought it sounded weird. Lord have mercy. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, let me wipe my hands off here. And to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano since I don't have um, cilantro. We're gonna have some guacamole with a Italian flair. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of basil, just a little bit. I think it'll give it a nice flavor, something a little different. There we go. Let's put that in there. Give that a little turn.
turn. Now, smells wonderful, fresh out of the garden, just has that aroma that you really can't describe to someone. They have to smell it themselves. So I'm gonna put this together, get down from there. That is not for you, that's a zucchini. Cookie, did you hear me? That'd be good on vegetables too, just on raw vegetables. So I'm gonna find my little thingamabobby, my little seed, and we'll put that back in there. And we'll cover this with some, with some clear wrap and stick it in the refrigerator for later. But I hate not to show y'all what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Let me see if y'all have any questions or suggestions or comments. I love that about this page. Let me just turn you around. Mm. Well, that finished out nice. That's a peach cobbler. Anyway, where's my coffee? Here we go. My, bro my brother grows his own tree. We have Romas too on the farm, Tina. And actually they called me from the barn and said, hey, do you want this bag full of Romas? I said, yes. So I probably will cut up some Romas and mix in that with that makeshift guacamole. Anyway, and if I had some jalapeno peppers, which I don't, um, I would put a little jalapeno in there. You know what, I do have jalapenos too. I just need to call the barn and tell them. Anyway, why do you put the seed back in the dip? The seed helps it not to darken. That's a great question. Um, when you're making avocado, or, or when you cut an avocado, you know, to, once the uh, oxygen and air get to it, it browns, which doesn't make it bad to eat. It still tastes the same, but it looks different. So if you put the seed back in your guacamole, it'll keep it from getting so brown so quickly. Yeah, Cookie loves to cook and play in this kitchen. Where is she? She's too quiet. Cook! What are you doing? She's tearing up a squirrel that I got her, y'all. Where's your squirrel? Go get it. Go get your squirrel. Go get it. There it is. Give me that. This was her surprise that I brought her when I went out of town to Emerald Isle. And y'all can see she is really in the process of tearing that squirrel's head off. I don't even care anymore. I don't mean it like in a negative way, but like, Go ahead and tear it up and get it over with it. I can sweep it up and we'll be done with it. And it'll keep you occupied for a little while. It's kind of like putting your kids in front of Barney or Teletubbies or what was the other shows? Um, the Cherry Picker Guy. Um, some of those shows that I let my kids watch. Yeah. Anyway, good morning from Hagerstown, Maryland. Good morning. I'm just getting a few things done around here. So I'll be showing y'all what I'm doing. As I do it, I actually am making my own cold coffee. Um, I put four heaping tablespoons of ground coffee in this yesterday and filled the water level up to the top. And so I let that sit overnight and I have this little cool little pitcher that, that filters the granules out. And then you can have cold coffee any time of the day. And I am loving that. Anyway... I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for following along with cooking, cutting up, keeping it around. I ain't sure what else I'm gonna be doing today. I gotta learn how to use a coffee pot because I bought a new coffee pot. I asked for y'all suggestions and then I went on Prime, on Prime Day and put one in my cart. And I told my husband, I said, this can be my Christmas present for 2023 because my coffee pot was about to hit the, you know, skid row. So anyway, can you freeze the cookies? Um, Diane, I did freeze those cookies when I made them for Bible school. They were frozen for two days, and then I took them to Bible school. No, they were frozen for three days, and they tasted just as good. They weren't hot, of course, coming out of the oven. They're hot, but they still had that chewy middle and the crispy outside, and I just carefully put them in Ziplocs and froze them. 
Yeah, they turned out great. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna see what else I can get into today. And I actually need to call the barn and tell them that I need at least one jalapeno if they have it. We'll see y'all later. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. This is the farm wife life at its best, y'all. That's all I can tell you. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.